today i'm preparing a very delicious and uh, tasty paneer uh, it's uh, shahi paneer uh, it's satvik that means this is without onion and garlic this is a beautiful dish very easily which can be prepared and uh, the best part is when uh, we have any festivals uh, this can be used for offering uh, do let me know in the comments box whether you liked it or not and if you really liked it do consider subscribing to my channel okay for this uh, shahi paneer we'll be requiring paneer uh, this is about uh, 200 grams of paneer other than this uh, we require some whole garam masalas so here i have a small piece of nutmeg this is the nutmeg and uh, this is cinnamon um, cinnamon stick about an inch then uh, four uh, green cardamoms and a few cloves then we require the basic masalas uh, like uh, salt then chili powder uh, turmeric powder then we have over here coriander powder other than this i'll be requiring some uh, bay leaves uh, green chili is about four in number then here i have uh, uh, ginger um, these are cashew nuts okay about two tablespoon of cashew nuts one tomato other than this i'll be using about uh, two tablespoons of curd okay uh, kashmiri uh, mirch okay kashmiri mirch and uh, kasuri methi and uh, just uh, some uh, white oil about uh, three uh, to four tablespoons of white oil for cooking okay so this is all i require so first thing first uh, in a jar mixing mix, uh, mixy uh, i'm going to make a fine powder of uh, all these whole garam masalas and we'll be back in a minute so after grinding i have this uh, garam masala over here so i'll now in the same jar i'm going to blend the tomatoes um, the green chilies ginger and the cashew together So let's begin with uh, just about uh, three to four tablespoons of oil. As soon as the oil heats up, yeah, uh, I will just pop in the bay leaves and the two green chilies so here I'm just popping in the garam masala just for few seconds I'm going to fry it and now I'm going to add the paste okay
I've just poured in the curd and uh, once the curd is uh, poured in make sure that you keep on stirring it or else the curd is going to split now at this point of time I'm going to add one tablespoon of Kashmiri mirch. And this is mainly for the beautiful bright red color. Now you can see that once again the oil is separating so at this point I'm going to add some water now into this I'm going to now add the paneer It's nicely boiling and um, at this point I'll be adding about a teaspoon of sugar again I completely forgot about it uh, initially but uh, adding sugar is important because it balances the taste so my mass is Oh my god, looks amazing and must be delicious to eat. So it's done. The only thing I require to add here is a little bit of kasuri methi. So I just need to, you know, crush the kasuri methi and right on top I'm going to just put a bit of it that's all